Hey everyone, welcome back to GL Spinners. Today I've got a full review video for you. We are taking a look at the Lotus from Revolvic Spinners. So I've had this one for a little while and wanted to put out a full review on it. But be sure and stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this spinner. And I've also got a discount code that they've given me for my viewers so you can save a little bit of money on it if you decide to purchase one. I always like to show you guys how these come. And no tin in this case, but a nice substitute. They give you a zippered pouch. It's got a lanyard here so you can hook it to a keychain. And it's branded on the front with the Lotus name and the logo. And on the back it's got Revolvic, the maker's name and logo. It's not rigid, but it's made from a soft leather-like material. And it's gonna keep the spinner safe from scratches and the bearing lint-free when it's in your pocket. So as always, Beach just shipping it in a Ziploc bag. Another bonus though is Revolvic actually ships them with an extra bearing. Everyone knows I'm a fan of extras with a spinner, and a bearing's a great addition because we've all dropped a spinner before and wrecked a bearing. With an extra one on hand, you can easily swap it out with no problem. So let's take a look at the spinner itself. The first thing you're gonna notice is the design. It gets its name from its flower look. It's got 10 petals around the edge, and to be honest, the closest thing I can compare it to is gonna be a gear spinner. But the Lotus weighs in at 83 grams, or 2.9 ounces, and from end to end, it measures in at two and a quarter inches. Overall, the machine and build quality of the spinner is really good. It feels solid, and you know, there's a lot of design into it. Like I said, you've got 10 cutouts, one for each pedal. The ends of the pedals here are rounded off extremely well. They're very smooth. So really nice to the touch when fidgeting. One drawback though is the edges on the face. They've got a tiny chamfer on them, but they are still a little rough. I wouldn't call them sharp, and the closest thing I can describe them to is the same feel as the Spinetic X and Y. So let's talk about the spin on this one. It's really nice. Um, it's smooth and really well balanced, and it feels good in hand. It gives you kind of like a consistent feedback. It's also got very little wobble between the frame and the buttons, so again, that build quality feels nice. In hand, I think the spinner is really fidgetable. You've got a finger groove in between each pedal, and no matter where you stop the spinner, your finger is going to naturally land in another groove. One drawback though to this design is that the grooves aren't very deep. So I prefer to pull spin this one rather than flick spin it. I find that pulling it gives one-handed spins that are more satisfying. With the diameter of the frame though, you can fidget it with any finger and there's no risk of it hitting your hand. And again, on this in hand, those pedal ends are just rounded very nicely and super smooth. So let's talk about the buttons. They're large. They come in at 22 millimeters, some of the largest that I've had come on a stock spinner. And as you guess, I like them. The finger pad is large and recessed, and there's a smooth raised edge that goes around the outside. One side's got an edge of the Lotus logo. The other is etched with Revolvic's logo and name. So both sides of it have a nice textured feel. Um, I'm just a big fan of these buttons. They're going to give you a great grip and you can get a lot of purchase on them because they're so large. They are threaded and underneath they house my preferred bearing setup. So you've got a stainless steel R188 bearing embedded in the frame with a threaded bearing lock. So easy removal, easy maintenance. If you drop it and need to swap out to that extra bearing, no problem, go ahead. So let's talk about spin times on it. I've carried this one for a bit and broken it in some. And my table spins are averaging around four and a half minutes. So it's not the longest spinner, but it's average for the size and weight. And to be honest, spin times can always be improved. I'm always gonna give you an honest spin time of it out of the box, but I mean, you can always clean the bearing and chances are you can get a little bit more time out of it but I like to give you it out of the box just because not everyone does that. So 
we're to the point where I typically compare it to some similar spinners. In this case, I don't have any that are the exact same size and shape, but the closest is probably gonna be the circulator from 2R Designs. It's got that full circle shape and the cog feel, but it's smaller overall and has less points on the edge. But the spin feeling is very similar. Another one to kind of compare it to is the Maelstrom. It's larger in diameter, thickness, and overall weight, and it costs a lot more as well. But the reason I wanted to show it is because again, this is another one that has a very similar spin feel. So the Lotus Spinner is available exclusively on Fidget LA's website. I'll have a link in the description down below. It runs $35 and comes in stainless steel, rainbow, and black. But like I said in the intro, Revolvix giving my viewers a discount. So here, GL, the number five off, and that's gonna get you 5% off. Just enter it in during checkout. I'll have it down in the description below as well if you just wanna copy and paste it. But always cool to save a little bit, so have at it. Now to the giveaway. As Revolvic gave me this spinner, I want to pass along to a viewer. So to enter and win this spinner, simply like the video, and all you have to do is put a comment down below. So to make it easy, just let me know what your favorite spinner is. Put it down in the comments, and I'll close the giveaway on this Sunday, July 16th, 2017, and I'll draw a winner and post a video. You know, the Lotus, Pretty impressive for the cost. Um, I'm gonna have to recommend it. And you know, the channel's been growing and I wanna give you guys a genuine thank you for that. So if you wanna see more spinner content reviews, be sure and subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.